Hello you guys. Tonight we, it's me and Lucy, have another one for you guys. This is called, instead of staring at me, first I'm going to read what I have and Lucy's going to add to it. Alright, so this is called, instead of staring at me. Sorry, I'm working between you all and the computer. So, so here we go. Alright, you can still see me good. Instead of staring at me, me and Lucy are going to be going back out in the community, able to in light for being stuck in the house for a year. And I feel like there is a topic that needs to be addressed, like how people keep staring at us in the community. When me and Lucy go out in the community to go to the mall, we get stared at or people get rude with us just for having a disability. Like one time, we went to Jefferson Mall and we were sitting down eating and we got made fun of for the way we were eating by teenagers. One day at St. Matthew's Mall, we got accused of stealing at the Chinese place that we did not. One day a security guard was worried about getting me a wheelchair and then whenever I am driving my electric wheelchair, while Lucy pushes me in a manual wheelchair, we get these comments like, I hope she does not run over me. My biggest pet peeves are getting stared at because I because I feel like instead of staring at me or Lucy, if you have a question as a person, just ask us or whatever. Just do not stare at us. My second pet peeve is being is being rude with us for no reason. Like we have feelings too, and people do not have to be so rude. My third pet peeve is being made fun of for no reason. I feel like a lot of people make fun of something just because they do not understand something. And I feel like people need to be educated on people that have disabilities. People need to learn that just because we have disability, just because people with disabilities are different than you, does not mean they deserve to be treated differently. That's all that I have. Lucy, would you like to... Lucy, would you like to add anything to it? Oh. And while Lucy's talking to you and going to the bathroom, sorry about my finger. It got in the way. Here you go, Lucy. Uh, I can add some stuff. Yeah, you might want to. Um, alright. I know people are probably used to seeing me in dreads, but I decided to get them undreaded. I got tired of my dreads. Um, and if Yes, there's real dreads and stuff like that, but I had to get them out. Anywho. Uh, um, my, the time we went to the Green Tree Mall. It was Jefferson. No, also Green Tree. Oh, uh, what the heck? Um, the Green Tree Mall, we order our food. And we had some Chinese food. Paid for it. And everything. And we sit down. Started eating. So the incident happened two times. One at Green Tree Mall in Indiana. And the other one in Jefferson Mall. We Hi, I'm telling the story. In Louisville, Kentucky. I know. I forgot to add it in the thing. So I just wanted to let the know it happened two times. It actually happened more than two times. Well, yeah. No, but um, And we was at the Green Tree Mall. We got our food to sit down, and we got that. We start eating, and there's this daughter, teen daughter, and mother sitting next to us, pointing at us, and staring at us, like making fun of us. Like, why are you chewing like that? And they was talking in their mouth when I got them to. I was like, do you got? They probably didn't expect me to say nothing back. Or do nothing gross out in the orange just because I could. So I said, What are you staring at? And he's like, Well, so why are you chewing that? Um, I was like, Why your why is your I uh, and my response was, Why are you pointing? Why is your face like that? And she's like, Can't you chew normal? I was like, Can't your face be normal normal? So I do have a smart now. And all after I said after that was maybe some people have disability where they can't help how the way they chew. I mean, do you have a disability where you can't help the way your face is? That's exactly what I said. And he's like, no, we're normal. I said, well, 
next time instead of assuming that we just can't eat correctly how about you ask and someone else came by and we start eating again and they start making fun of making some work chewing noises and showing their food and say oh you can't chew right and I was like oh so you really want to see him nauseous so I heard him chew some food and then like uh like see they smell nauseous that's very nauseous not cool to make fun of spot how you chew so anybody ever had problems making fun of you with the disability and you have problem chewing just come up with a better comment saying you don't look so good the yeah. way you chew but some people i know but yet again there's no, there's oh, verbal. i'm about to get to that see if you get me a chance okay i'm going to the bathroom and then yeah, there's some non-verbal that can't speak for themselves so you have a person that can't speak for themselves or non-verbal and you say look it ain't cool because they can't speak up for themselves and you have no right to talk to them about that because I'm pretty sure you have someone in your family like that and some people just don't have nothing else better to do but to make fun of people and and because their life is miserable their self like 100% miserable and they can't they can but in their head they can't help but to make fun of other people that are different that walks on hand sticks or walk with a lamp or whatever and then you have uh, some people that are not rude some people are just curious or just fine but if you're looking for a long time why don't you just come up and say don't mind you I mean excuse me I'm not trying to be rude but do you mind if I please ask you this question um why do you walk like that or talk like that and then someone will be nice enough to say well I walk like that because I was born like like that and they're like oh, okay He's like, I, didn't, I wasn't mean nothing, I just want to know because I was just curious. And someone will say, okay, well, that's cool, that's fine. You didn't have no harm. There are some people who are nice like that. And then there are some other people who are just going to say, hey, quit working like that. You look kind of funny. Which has happened to us a couple times. Which is not cool. That was like an incident at Jefferson Mall. And then another incident that happened was um, Taisha has parked her wheelchair right beside her. And it wasn't in the way. And someone came out and said, at least I can walk. And I had to stand up for her because she didn't hear him. She was too busy eating. And she had stuff on her like face. And they also made fun of her because she had stuff all over her face. I was like, that wasn't very nice of you. You didn't have to say that. Oh, yeah, she also had it in her headphones so she couldn't hear him. And you didn't have to say that. And he's like, How'd you hear me? I thought you couldn't hear anything. I was like, because I heard you loud and clear. She didn't hear you because she had it in her headphones. I was like, how would you like it if someone started making fun of your uh family in the wheelchair? And his mom came up to him and made, and made him apologize. And then he got smacked that day, which I found it very hilarious. A teenager getting smacked for making fun of somebody with a disability because he has someone in his family with a disability. So he got smacked. Smacked in the face. Which was funny. Uh, another incident was um, when um, the 
people in the uh, the restaurant or store try to treat you like you're stupid. Like, you know, St. Matthew's Mall, I bought my food and a Coke. I gave them an exact change for my food, which was 20 bucks, and I went back and got my Coke, which was um, $2.59, and they said I didn't pay for it. And I also paid for some Crowley Lagoons, which was $10, which I got a whole bunch of and paid for that. Mm, they try to say I only paid for one. And I also got some egg rolls. And they try to get more money out of you. Especially those Chinese people. Foreign people. Not racist, but some people who are foreign treat people with disabilities like they're stupid and trying to make you pay for more than what you need to pay for. And that's not cool either. So some people, some people who has people with disabilities and they have money, watch out for them. Especially non vulnerable people. Watch out for them when they buy something because they'll try to cheat you out of your money and make you spend more than what you need to. I just told him about the Chinese place where I bought the color goons, the plate, mm -hmm. and egg rolls, and a drink, and I bought it. And we how still they... love the Chinese people, though. We do. Yeah. A lot, because their food is so delicious. But we, anyways, I made clear that we wasn't okay. racist. Um, anywho, watch out for them, because they try to make you pay for more of what you don't need to pay for when you already pay for the whole meals. Mm. And, like, another time, like, there is some nice people. Um, we went to, I think, uh, before we moved here, we went to FIE, and I had, you know, some money. I'm not going to say how much. And Taisha didn't have that much. And this guy and his son, but technically... If some people believe in garden angels, and some people might not. Came or whatever up, you believe in. Or whatever you may believe in. Both angels, garden angels, either way, whatever you may believe in. Blessings. Um, this guy came out and said, hey, I hope you pay for your movies. And we looked behind us. And there was this guy, and he helped us pay for the movies and stuff and our um, food and we got everything we wanted and then on the way back home there was this other guy and he asked us if we want some extra money I was like no and he followed us back to the food place and he ended up giving us some money we just told him no but he was really nice and just some people were really nice and just, he just, he gave us some extra money to shop on. Because you don't know if someone's a trick and you don't know if it's real money or not. But he, he took it to the, you know, a cashier and showed us that it was real money. And he gave us some extra money to shop on. And he didn't even have to, it was really nice. And that happened to us seven times and then it didn't happen anymore it happened with different places and different people sometimes you get lucky like that yeah especially if you have a little nice brownie guy nick i wasn't talking about the brownie guy oh <laughs> hi nick uh -oh. If, if you ever see this uh, yeah. now nick's our friend yeah. our guy friend um, best friend, new best friend, who, new guy best friend. Who bought us brownies. Who bought us brownies and something to drink and something to eat too. On a hot day. And some ice cream. 
very nice. But we'll get to our friend on a different note. I don't know why Taisha brought him up. Oh, you were just talking about this guy at the mall that was buying the stuff. It was stuff. just a person, remember? So I just thought I wouldn't include it. Okay. That has nothing to do with what I was talking about. Anywho. There are some nice people out there who will help um, people with disability, but don't take advantage of it. Because it's not cool to take advantage of nice people either. Nope. You always find a way to hang out with your new friends and um, go to lunch with them. That's something you can do. But don't take advantage of the person just because uh, they helped you out more than once out of your life. Right. Uh, there was another incident that happened that we probably need to discuss before I get it back. Did you get the wheelchair incident? Um, I got one. What was another one? Which one, did you, which one did you get? I did the one where you parked your wheelchair at the J Mall and it was right beside us and someone mm -hmm. said it was in the way. How about how some people, uh, like when you're pushing me in the wheelchair and we actually run over somebody or they want to stare at us and say we're coming, it's like, I hope she don't run over me for no reason. Um, how some people like to um, cut in front of people that are in wheelchairs. Oh, yeah. Like they own the place? I forgot about that. I so, too. there's also a mint or Excuse instance. us while we stuff our faces with chocolate. Yes, chocolate's very good. Where we've been in the St. Matthew's Mall and I'm pushing her and I stop and there's just people who walk in front of me and said, You run over me and no one actually runs over. I don't actually run over them. It stops so they can come past. And it's like, well, I hope she doesn't run over me. Like, wh what comment is that? is that? There's no reason to have a comment like that. Like, it is so rude. And, let's see. Do you have any incidents you were talking about? Mm. Yeah, I talked about the twice, I, three times I didn't someone try to scare me out of my money. Okay. At, at the food places, I think might be small. I trade you a, a blue for a white chocolate. No. No. I don't really don't like dark chocolate as much. Okay, I trade your real right. I'm fine. Um, but... Ain't you something. I need to get some more of these. Can you go post tomorrow? Is there anything else you want to talk about? Oh, uh, yeah. I was just trying to think about it. Um, Are there any incidents you had with your walking? Or somebody ever made fun of you because of the way you walked? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, but that's when I was in school. Oh, we're not covering school. No, but maybe we'll do it another day. What we went through in high school and school. Well, so. I did have one incident. Remember that one incident um, when I first went to St. Matthew Mall with you, and there was these girls um making fun of how I walked because it was my first time going to the mall with her and. These girls made fun how I walked because I was walking different. And another person came up and I was wearing a Justin Bieber outfit, said that wasn't cool and she commented on my outfit, which made me feel better afterwards. I had something to say, but the comment made me feel better. I had something to say. It was after I stuck up for myself, another person stuck up for me and after they said, well, you walk funny and you won't be able to do none of the stuff we can do. And my comment to that person was, 
whatever you can do, I can do better. And then another person came up, and I was wearing my Justin Bieber outfit, said, I like your outfit. And she's like, why does it matter how she walks? It's not, not, it's nothing not for you, it's nothing, not nothing for you to judge. Or anyone else. Oh yeah, that's my first time getting made fun of at the mall. Well, welcome to Lowell. When did you first move there? Not very good. Oh. And just because you get used to make you can't make fun of it doesn't mean you have to like it. Always stick up for yourself when you have a disability. Excuse me. And people who has friends that are nonverbal always stick for up for them too, mm -hmm. because they can't say nothing for themselves. Mm -hmm. And the ones that are kind of not all the way nonverbal, has problems speaking, help them put their words together in a in a good way. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't really think of anything else right now other than. We're going back out soon, and I really hope and pray that there is, I mean, there always will be rude people, but I hope it's not as much that we don't get as many rude people as we used to. Or scammers. I'm not really looking forward to that. But if I, had, if I had to stick up, if we had to stick up for ourselves like we have to, we will. So, if I can think of anything else, it'll be on the next one. But other than that, I'm just really hoping that we do not have a lot of rude people this year. More kind people. Exactly. We do is videos to educate people on people with disabilities to give them insight on people's lives on a day to day basis. And I would have been more prepared if I had stuff to write down. I didn't you know are what so to talk about. rude. Sorry. On a day to day basis to give people the ideal of they heard you. On to give people the ideal of what we deal with on a day to day basis. So I can educate people myself on people with disabilities, regardless if it's cerebral palsy or whatever else. Uh, is out there there's a lot that covers the range of disabilities to help people understand that we're no, no we're no different from anybody else so we hope you all have a good night thanks for listening and if you're a youtube person please like and subscribe to this video share the video with your friends your family and so i can help educate them too and other people who may have disabilities like cerebral palsy or epilepsy or dyslexia Yep, and to help people know that they're not oh, alone. Oh, that's what I wanted to cover. And Sorry. to help people know that they're not alone, no matter what they have. And Lucy Wait. had one thing else she wanted to cover. So, can you... Damn. I can't even see myself. <laughs> From right there. Alright, so, um... Uh... For people who had dyslexia and epilepsy, um... There's certain really, really big word, and somebody uses it against you, and you have a disability. Oh, you better. Hopefully, you know what it means, and then use it against you. And you're like, mm -hmm. so I'm not that word. So it's, you can look at them and say, I am not that word, but I know that you some are. Some people don't know what that word is, so we're just gonna go ahead and say it. I hate the word, but it is. There. I'm not gonna say it. If some people call you internet or the. Some people don't know what the word is, so you gotta educate them people. So, if someone white that is racist. Oh, I thought you meant mental retardation. No. My bad. Uh, but that is a word that we get caught a lot. Uh, anyways, if a white oh, my phone. is a Caucasian or any other person comes up to you and calls you ignorant. Which, that, in, that word means the N-word. 
or the E R R word, which is not good to be called in the middle of the mall. And then the other R word, which is mentally, and I hate this word, retarded. If someone comes up and talks to you like that, the best thing to do is to pray to yourself first, pray for them, walk away, and before you walk away, turn around real fast and say, I'm not stupid or slow. I might be, I may just be 10, I'm going, I'm going you may as well say, I am 10 times smarter than you. And then turn back around and walk away. That's the best thing to do. Because those people are just being rude. And they ain't got nothing else better to do. But also the reason why I mentioned dyslexia is because I have it. And some people, some stuff, when I buy stuff, I can't really get the letters together. And it's hard to read. So some people will notice that it or hard for you to read or count change they'll try to take advantage of you so be careful and make sure you have a friend with or a spouse beside you make sure they can say hey can you read this for me because this is acting up sometimes my dyslexia acts up and i can't really uh um get the members together or my letters together to know what I'm buying so I won't get scammed from that person and for them to buy me buy and try to get more money out of me that I don't need to spend. So if you have dyslexia, someone to love on dyslexia or something like that, that will help them to have someone with you so they won't scam you on your money. And as a and the reason why I uh, mentioned dyslexia, some people might have seizures which I do, but I don't have them like that. I don't ever have one. Um, eight years, which is a long time. Well, now, 28 years. So, it's just a very long time. It's just some people out there actually do have seizures. And some people will take a picture of a bunch of people who have seizures and rob them while they're having them. I saw it happen before in real life. It's not cool. <sighs> not cool at all. And I saw people get taken advantage of for people who can't really read that well either. And tell them, yeah, yeah. That's what it means and that's what you need to buy. That's not cool either. That's a lot to get taken advantage of too. So there's a lot of disabilities people can get taken advantage of. Any comments on that? Because you have to be with me when that happens. In yeah, they'll, they'll do that too. Like Lizzie can't really read or anything like she said. And sometimes her orders get mixed up and people just want to be like that. So if you are like that, never be ashamed to have somebody with you that can help you. Um, and I also wanted to add it, that if you wanted to learn a little bit more about people with disabilities or whatever, there's information you could look up on the internet. Um, there's sit top videos that are now um, having people with disabilities in them, including myself. I just started my TikTok. So there's plenty of information you can get on people with disabilities to educate yourself. So yeah, anyways, have a good night, you all. Stay safe, God bless. Or if, whatever you believe in. Yeah. Um. Be spiritual. Yeah. And uh, if you are a YouTube subscriber, please like and subscribe. Thanks. And Bye. don't, if you don't care to leave any good comments, don't leave. They can't even see my face when I say that. Oh, I'm sorry, yo. If you don't have any good comments, any, if you don't have anything to say, anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Don't comment. Don't even like it. 
don't do shit. Um, this is why we can never put videos for kids. Yeah, this video is not for kids. I don't. Anyways. Um, anyways. It can be if you win, because. Uh, you didn't say. This, I, I know. <laughs> uh, um, you didn't say anything. Yeah, I know. Um, don't like, don't describe, don't do nothing. Just stay in your little hot headed bubble and don't use your thumbs or index finger. So, don't, I wasn't done. So, if you don't have got anything nice to say or comment to say, don't like it, don't describe it, don't do anything at all. Just keep on moving. And if you do have some nice cool things to say or any questions to ask, then uh, comment back. Ask some questions. We will be happy to answer them. Or hit that like button up there at the top. Or hit the like button at the top, you know, there. And we'll be asking some questions. And yet again, I'm going to say it again. If you're going to be just dumbly stupid about it and ask dumb questions, then don't bother turning your thumbs and you can go ahead and kick YouTube rocks. Or Facebook rocks. Or Facebook rocks. Keep them. But I don't have no blue people on here, so. So just stay to yourself. You ain't got nothing good to say. Keep your mouth shut. Put some soap in it. Yeah, that's what she means. For all means. But anyways, if you do, I'll just block you. Ain't no big deal. That's what the block button's for. Alright. Bye. Later. Good night. I'll see you all later. Um, we're gonna have the next video. We're gonna be busy starting next week. I'm still gonna be doing vlogs and stuff. But it may be kinda slow. So just to let y'all know. Anyways, goodbye.